We're just getting everything started. Journey! From the time you were doing like uh, your 90 day video challenge. Yeah. You went from like what? It was like dancing to like public speaking to like writing a book all of a sudden? Yeah, so I mean like I guess things take a detour. Um, I started the 90 day video challenge not really comfortable with the whole challenge itself. I didn't really want to go on camera um, and then I would do the videos and not post them because I felt that they weren't good enough. But going to Germany was like fulfilling this long <laughs> dream and I was like, oh my god, it's so exciting. I remember getting off the plane, I was in the Frankfurt airport and I went to, I went to the ladies bathroom and there was, a little, uh, there was a little kid and when I spoke with him, he understood me. He's like, oh my god, it's too much work, it's been like 20 years, but the kid understood me, it's, it's like not so bad, you know? <laughs> It's like Frankfurt, Frankfurt Women's Airport, right? <laughs> <laughs> the entire trip was just so satisfying. Like I was savoring the moment of like really owning my power, yeah. being like where I was in my life, finally fulfilling something that I thought wasn't possible. Tried to edit my own videos and realize like, okay, I'm not very good at this editing stuff, which means I have to get better at the delivery and the speaking. Because the only Smart. way I can edit my videos yeah. <laughs> is to come out smooth, right? Am I, am I wrong speaking. in saying that you are a perfectionist? You, you might be right. Are you trying to overcome that? I don't know. I mean, like. It took me years. So it was supposed to be 90 days, right? Like it was actually meant to be 90 consecutive days. It took me like, I didn't finish my 90 day video challenge until I think, oh gosh, somewhere close to like the 300 day mark. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I basically abandoned it halfway, decided that I wasn't going to get on camera anymore because I was worried about everything from my voice to my wrinkles to I'm too lazy to put on makeup. Like just like you name it, right? Being female, <laughs> you know, when oh. you're female, there's just like the self criticism is like. You know, all right. Again, this is something I would not have expected from you. Like I wouldn't yeah. expect. I I definitely didn't expect you to to say that. It was all there. It's like all here, right? Yeah. It, I think it was. It was like a massive mental battle going on. The 90 day journey was like, I think I'm still not doing probably as many Facebook lives as I probably should. But with that said, it's only because I've realized that there's all these other aspects of myself that I can work on and I want to focus on those aspects first. Previously, I had all these mental blockages that weren't allowing me to fully express who I am. Yeah. And then I think like, in the last year or so after starting the 90 day i just kind of started almost like popping the lid off of the different things it's kind of like i'm a cola can you know and there's yeah. all this <laughs> no. underneath and like yeah. you don't know how much is there until like you pop it and then like <laughs> there's all this stuff. pieces of wisdom i think that i've discovered along the way like for example this whole investing in yourself concept right like investing in yourself whether it be in a course like digital media or in a coach or, you know, in learning certain, you know, financial management techniques or something like that. All of this is actually contributing to our well-being. Yeah. And at the end of the day, like everyone is just looking for a sense of freedom to be who they really are. Right. Yeah. But it's almost like, how do you become this free version of yourself if you've forgotten who you are? Like, for me, that was the key thing. Like I was just, oh, what's the word? Um, excavating. I was excavating really old stuff out yeah. of like, it's like the old buried shoe, shoe box under like the, yeah. the tree or something. I didn't realize that I had so many old dreams that I had yet to fulfill until I started the 90 day. And I mean, it's one of those things, right? These things happen and how do you view it? How do you, how do you, comfort yourself when something not so great happens. I mean, that's 
part of life and I feel like what you're doing this whole YouTube channel is about talking to people and just talking about the daily things that happen that make life so special right because yeah. it's like I, I think sometimes people over what's the word over glamify <laughs> yeah. 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 yeah no I, I completely agree you with can that you coin that as a word yeah <laughs> <laughs> glamify <laughs> no 